This is a little bit tricky question. Before answering the question, you need to know three things. First thing is, each day repeats after seven days. Right? So, if 5th June is Sunday, then 12th June is Sunday, 19th June is Sunday, etc. Second thing is, in each year, each year you have 365 days. If it's a non-leap year, you have 365 days, which is equal to 52 weeks and one day extra. How I got this? If you divide 365 by 7, you will get 52 as quotient and one as reminder. That means there are 52 weeks in one year plus one days extra. Then secondly, what you need to know is in a leap year, you have 366 days, right? One day extra is there in February. Then you have 52 weeks plus two day extra in a leap year. Now, the third thing that you need to know is if 5th June is Sunday and you are asked to find what is 22nd of June, what you will do? You will minus 5 from 22. So, 22 minus 5 is 17. Then what you will do? You will divide 17 by 7. So, if you divide 17 by 7, you will get quotient as, uh, quotient as 2, right? And reminder as 3. So, the reminder is 3. So, that means fifth, when if 5th June is Sunday, 22nd June is Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It is Wednesday, right? So, that's how you solve this, this kind of questions. Now, uh, so keeping all these three things in mind, we will start answering this question. So, first, let's, you have to take one day which you know. So, since you all wrote the exam on 5th June 2022 and the question is also June 2099, we'll take this date. So, 5th June 2022 is Sunday, right? Now, we need to find out what is 5th June 2099. For that, what you need to know is, first you need to find out the number of years in between these two years. So, you have to minus 2022 from 2099. So, you will get 77 years. So, there are total 77 years in between 2022 and 2099. So, in these all 77 years, you will be having 52 weeks and one day extra right so there are total 77 days extra without considering leap year now you need to check how many leap years are there so we know that 2024 is a leap year right then 28 is a leap year 32 36 40 44 48 52 56 60 64, 68, 72, 76, 80, 84, 88, 92 and 96 is a leap year. So how many leap years are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There are total 19 leap year. So you need to add in each of these leap year there is one more day extra, right? So uh, along with the 77 day extras there will be 19 more days. So, total 77 plus 19, you will get 96 days extra. So, now as I earlier told how you will find out uh, the date, uh, the day. So, wh what you have to do is you have to divide 96 by 7. So, what you will get? If you divide 96 by 7, you will get 1, 7, then uh, 26, 3, 21 and you will get reminder as 5 so you will get reminder as 5 so there is so uh, the reminder is five. if the reminder is 5 what you need to know do we uh, our assumption is like 5th june is sunday right so then 5th june of 2099 will be monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so this will be friday right so if this is friday 6th june is Saturday and 7th June is Sunday. So our answer is 7th June.
option D because the question asked which date of June 2099 is Sunday right so 5th June what we got 5th June is Friday 6th June is Saturday and 7th June is Sunday so answer is D